Joining me, my co-host, Vanessa Moss, political consultant and attorney Vanessa Moss, workout <laughs> queen. <laughs> Alan Lango, uh, founder, co-founder of Deadline Detroit, New York. Uh, no. Washington, Washington Post <laughs> and Detroit News by way of uh, the Eagle American. Okay. Outrage. All right. Outrage. Outrage of the week. The actions. You can't police people to act right. You can't legislate people to act right. People have to want to act right and have to care about the community in which they live in. So you could come up with a 12-point plan. You could come up with a two-point plan. You could have police in the downtown. You could have them in the neighborhood. But if the people in the neighborhood, if the people downtown don't give a dog on, then what? What's the answer? You are absolutely so right. I, again, now I'm older than all you guys, and I, I, I go back to what my father and other people in the neighborhood did. You give, you know, Keith Williams, who used to, used to be, a, he's former uh, commissioner, he's now on the rec uh, reparation uh, uh, committee. We look, grew up in the same neighborhood, I'm older than him, but our fathers, our neighbors, they were active in the neighborhood and they said, listen, this is what you are going to do or not going to do. And, and, and it was like a community thing. But right now, unfortunately, we have not only the city of Detroit, but so many cities in which we have people who are not stepping up to the plate. Now, that uh, but, uh you know, I, I love, I absolutely love retirement, and I'm still actively involved in in, huh. in numerous charities in around okay. in and around Detroit. Now, you, now you you were in, you were in TV for a long time, and you and I had some discussions uh, over the years about investigative, the level of investigative huh. reporting, uh, and and now we see, I and I, it seems like less experience. Uh, people, what, what what do you see the state of TV today, and what do you see for the future? Are you worried about it, or? Well, uh, Al Alan, look, the 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 state of journalism, uh, broadcast and print, <laughs> um, is dire right now, and unfortunately, there, the internet, this marvelous thing that allows us to talk to each other and. <laughs> and converse right now, even though we're not in the same place, this wonderful tool has essentially destroyed print journalism completely. Uh, how, what would you tell uh, these young folks that's growing up and, and, and thinking that they, they so slick that they can, you know, get away with the bullshit that they're doing in Detroit? You know, it, it seems, and I came from the media too, it seems 20, 30, 40 years ago, there were some rules that uh, the, the drug folks I know and people that was on the street, and they had some rules. They didn't uh, shoot up houses. They didn't kill little kids. How do we stop a lot of this violence? You, you, serve, you serve more than your share of time. How can you talk to some of these folks? Uh, you know, I work with this group called Team Wellness out of Detroit, and, and it's a mental health facility. Yeah, I'm very familiar. Yep. Fully integrated healthcare system. We don't turn away anyone. I'm very passionate about working with them. The CEO gave me a great opportunity. 30 days after I was home, he hired me. So we're now taking on, I think they're going to give us half of the juveniles out of Wayne County that are locked up. So... You know, you can't take these kids and put them in a cage at 11 and 12 and 13 mm -hmm. years old and let them out and expect them to be normal. Listen, <laughs> Red will teach me how to speak regular. But listen, <laughs> if you weren't saying anything about this right now, nobody would have known what happened there. It's called Detroit in black and white. And if you're going to be Detroit in black and white, <laughs> then the white guy ought to be a white guy that talks like a white guy <laughs> instead of being like some liberal namby pamby let the white guy talk because the, white, should, cause the white guy got shit to say alan the white guy's not wrong alan should write his book <laughs> that's what he should be doing okay so we're gonna ignore the black voice forever but now the black voice gets some prominence because the black voice is not wrong but you should not go all the way over there not to listen to this voice we're all family 
Yeah, we're that, family. Yeah, you're right. Why right. you do that to me? You're right. That was that wasn't cool. I mean, this it, book right here, Mongo, you fucker. Chapter three. We're gonna go in a century from now. This book means something called Detroit American Autopsy. Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I got. Hilarious. Say. You can dish it out, but you got so that you can't take it no more.